Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to create diagrams with shapes in Excel using VBA macros. So for example we can create a diagram from the contents in this range and then we'll get something like this. That's a process flow diagram in a waterfall approach of the project phases. And we can create much cooler things using the same technique. For example here we have the list of employees in a team or an organization. And indicating the reporting structure with the numberings here, we can create an organization chart such as this one, adding shapes automatically to the worksheet. And whenever there is a change to the structure, we just we can edit that in the table and create the chart again. So that's pretty useful compared to some other tools to create such diagrams. So I'm just going to copy that and move to a new workbook here. And then insert a module in the VBA editor and a macro that we'll call create flowchart. And the first thing we'll do is to define where the first box or the, the first shape is going to start. So let's say um, the first shape left is going to start 60 points from the left of the worksheet and 20 points from the top. And then it's going to have a width of, let's say, um, 80 and a height of 40, for example. But you can change that depending on how you want that to look like. Also depending on how many boxes you, you will add and so on. And then we will start a loop for each cell in the selection. And we will have a different selection because that's the header. Right, so probably we're going to select just the faces, those five faces in this case. And for each cell, we're going to add a new shape. So let's call it SHP. And it's going to be in the active sheet dot shapes dot add shape. And it's going to be an MSO shape rectangle. And let me continue down here starting on the left and top coordinates that we defined earlier and with the width and the height that we defined earlier. Comma here. So that's going to add a shape and now with that shape we're going to give it a name and that will be for example SHP and an index, let's say i, that it's going to be incrementing over here for each cell. So we will have SHP1, SHP2, and so on. Then with the shape with dot text frame, we're going to add some text inside of the box, and that's going to be the number i and Let's put a dot after the number, and after that we're going to have the value in the cell, so cell.value. And let's say that's going to have a size of 12, and we're going to align that horizontally. And vertically. And before moving to the next cell, we're going to increment the SHP left by, let's say, 100 or 120 points. So that will place the next box at a distance farther from the previous one. Now we can go to the next cell. So let me add a commentary here. This is going to add the the shapes, let's say boxes. And now the next thing we want to do is to add the connectors. So add the connectors. And the connectors in Excel are also shapes and behave in quite a similar way. So we're going to start a loop now for, let's say, n starting in 1, so the first shape, 2, 
the number of shapes that that's going to be i minus 1. If we have five shapes, we'll have only four connectors. That makes sense, right? Then we have to define from which shape to which shape it will connect. So from, let's say from box, which is going to be SHP and N, to box, it's going to be SHP and N plus 1. And we should be, of course, declaring all these variables. I didn't declare anything, but let's start with SHP left as integer, SHP top as integer. So I've declared all the variables up here. And now let's go down, make some space. And with the active sheet, which is sheet 1 in this case, and it's going to be easier to work with sheet 1 because we're going to see the properties and methods easily, shapes, and we're going to add a connector, and it's going to be of a connector straight. And I will add some arbitrary position and dimensions here because we're going to change that later. And we're going to select that connector. And now with the selection shape range, we're going to do several things. First, we're going to define the line style as an arrow with a head triangle. And then we're going to define where it starts. And we do that with connector format dot begin connect. And it's going to begin in sheet one shapes, the from box shape that we defined earlier, comma 4, which is on the right of the box. So the connectors can anchor to each of the four sides of a shape. One is on the top, two on the left, three at the bottom, and four on the right. So it's going to connect from the right side of the first box to connector format again, and connect in sheet one shapes, and now is two box, the other box that, the other name of the box that we define up here, comma two. And that's the left side of the next box, or of the next shape. And here we end the width, and we can move to the next connector. So this is adding the connectors, and this other block here is adding the shapes. So if everything's all right here, we go for each cell in that selection, we find I and change the name of the shape. Then we change the name of the characters and the font size. I missed that here. And um, then we align that horizontally and also vertical alignment here now that's correct so everything else seems fine so if we make a selection here with the five project faces in this example and we run the macro then we get the flow chart with the five different faces or the contents in those five uh, cells in the selection as shapes one after another connected with the arrow connector and that's on the same worksheet but you can put that on a different sheet and that starts 60 points from the left and 20 points from the top but you can change that and position wherever you want it you can also change the the width of the shapes to fit the contents or the height and you can basically design that as you need so that's how we create a flowchart from the contents in a range of cells in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.